And if you build your identity based on what you do and the assets that you have or the experience that you have, then that's going to constantly be volatile and you will be depressed. You will be anxious. You'll be frustrated when things aren't going well. And when things are, you'll probably still not be happy because it's never enough. But when you build your identity based on your character, which is, I know what I'm called to be. I know what my integrity is. I know who I am in any season. So you put me in an industry that I don't know anything about. Well, I love what you said about golf. Like I just started playing golf recently. I've stayed away from it because I knew it would take my money and my time because I'm an all in type of guy. But here's what I believe. I suck at golf when I start, but I know I'm going to be great because I know who I am. And I may not know all the ways to hit the ball and the things that, but I'll figure it out because I, I know who I am. My character defines who I am. And so I would just encourage people that feel like they don't have the experience or maybe things haven't gone the way they thought they would go. You know, if you know who you are and your character is what defines you, it doesn't matter what obstacles you're facing or what failures you've experienced. You will bounce back from that because you're resilient. You're, you got tenacity. And at the end of the day, you are not going to quit because God called you to do it. And that is what separates winners from losers. It's people that choose to keep pressing on regardless of how they feel about themselves. They, they are going to keep moving forward. And so that's the key to success. In my opinion, that's the key to success. Well, we know that if you quit, you don't do anything. I, I, I like that, that even you talked about like your, your identity inside of your character and like, this is who I am. And when you put someone like this in this situation, I know kind of how this is going to go. I know I can adapt. I know I can get better rather than here's what I do. And, and right. now I'm this and this is who I am, which is it even feels like it's a good framework for people to understand. I feel like it, people understand that they're not supposed to get their identity for what they do, but they they don't know then what. So I'm supposed to get, they say, get yep. your identity in Christ. He's well pleased in you. And right. you're like, and I'm supposed to walk away. Obviously, we believe like you've got to find your identity in Christ. You know, as Christians, that's that's our, you know, that's our foundation. But even if you don't know Jesus or you're not a follower of Christ, like if you don't have a depth to who you are outside of your rap sheet or you know your resume, um, it's it's a really shallow life. And so, some one of the things I did with my staff a few years ago um, around this teaching, you know, I had them sit down and I said, I want you to write out the person you want to become, not what you want to do, not the, the, the assets you want to have, like all those things, I believe they're going to happen. But I want you to write down who do you want to be or who do you feel like you are called to be? So for me, it's, you know, I feel called to be um, an empowering leader, which means that people around me, I create opportunities for them. I equip them. I, I give them a higher ground to stand on than where they are right now. I, I feel called to be a, a competent communicator, right? So in everything that I do, whether it's as a husband, as a leader of a business or as a pastor, I know that my role, what I'm called to is to clearly and effectively communicate vision, right? And so these are, when you define who you're called to become, it, it really is a great practice and then everything else can flow from that. And, and I think that when you start writing those things down, if the areas of your life don't fit into them, then maybe it's not deep enough. Because once again, those things that I write out, they don't just affect my ministry. They affect my, my marriage. They affect my family, my relationships, my work ethic. And so that's a really great practice. Write out, you know, maybe two to three things. Who is the person you want to become? The person the world needs you to be. And that will define what you do and your feelings of success around it.